What's up, Capricorn? This is Soul here in Capricorn. We're going to look at what's coming towards you uh, February 5th, 2024. Capricorn, I hope all is well. This week I'm using the um, Madhouse Tarot to deliver your messages here. Not reading any uh, reversals, but I have decided not to throw any shadow cards. Just going to throw some cards from the Blank Slate and uh, the Fortune Oracle deck. Those are both very positive um decks with you know very positive messages we're just going to cleanse the energy here from doing um sagittarius's reading then we're going to begin your messages what's coming towards a uh, capricorn this week messages for capricorn All right, here we go, Capricorn. This is for you. Then we have the devil. Your own energy shows up. How about that? So the devil is here, and the devil is always about, you know, bad habits, uh, toxic uh, relationships. It could be toxic environments. It's always that cast of illusion or energy. I don't like necessarily saying spells, but, you know, the influence of the devil is almost like a spell. So, you know, dealing with situations that, you know, you feel that you are in are just as real to you uh, as they can be. And they really aren't the interactions with people, you know, could be strangers, could be, you know, family members or whatever. They're showing you who they are. You're not believing them. Whatever it is, you want to have conversations to break the chains and the bonds of whatever this devil is casting over you. Um, it's also to the type of. Um, Energy that refers to you could be obsessing over a situation, person, or event. You could be the Capricorn that is working too much. If you are, then maybe other areas of your life are suffering. Uh, addictions of all kinds. It may not be your addictions, but it may be the addictions of the people that you are in contact and communication with or close to. You know, drinking, smoking, gambling. It could be sex. Uh, so, but whatever it is and whatever... Um, could be or the potential of going on here you need to have a conversation either with self or either including others uh about this devil's presence okay following the uh, major arcana of the devil now we have the ace of cups ace of cups is of course romance right new love deeper emotions so you could be expressing yourself now i just said that you could be obsessing or addictive someone could be addictive or obsessing over a relationship and what follows, the Ace of Cups. So, um, and you can already be in a relationship, not necessarily doing some, you know, uh, some psycho stuff, being, you know, crazily in love with somebody who doesn't, because this also too refers to unrequited love, having feelings for someone who is, you know, not giving you those feelings back. But the Ace of Cups here going deeper in terms of your, uh, your love and your feelings for someone or someone is about to do that to you. This still would be pregnancy news. It would also be childbirth. And also, too, it could be uh, a job offer. The initiation of new relationships that could be formed under the guise of the Ace of Cups, romantic as well as platonic. Following the Ace of Cups, now we have the Knight of Pentacles. So this is the uh, card that comes through. One of my... Um, you know, financial independent cards here. So this, again, could be a job offer. This could be a promotion. It could be a startup of a business. It could be just the attributes of this card here where, you know, people see you. It mirrors over here to the devil where I said that you could be working too much. Okay, Capricorn, and you're not, you're investing your time into your work, but you're not investing your time into those relationships that may be important. So um, striving to be independent or you already are, um, it could be the attributes, like I started off to say, that, you know, people see you as someone who is, you know, dependable, reliable, always there for them. It doesn't necessarily have to be uh, involving, you know, giving money out or lending financial assistance. No, they see you as that person that they could just always call, talk to, whatever. You're always there for them. Okay? Knight of Pentacles. Up next now, we have the Ace of Swords. Two Aces in a reading is very auspicious, so, you know... Keep an open mind this week here. Ace of Swords is about communication, clarity, you know, gaining clarity on a situation, person, or event, seeking some sort of excitement or adventure, and it also, too, represents uh, first actions, first moves, and victory and success. 
Following the Ace of uh, Swords here, now we have the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is you're drawing some energy towards you. This is a person that may come in and assist you as well. So this could be a romantic partner, could be a friend, could be a family member. They usually come in and assist you and then they exit just as quickly. But the presence of the Knight in this spread could also indicate how fast and rapid a new relationship could take shape or form. We have the Ace of Cups, right? So this is intermediate attraction that you're either moving towards or is drawn towards you. This is um, intensity starting to build up and definitely passion and does represent that sexual energy and sexual expression. Following that, we have the major arcana, the Empress. The Empress here is something new, something growing, something developing, something expanding. You can see the pregnant belly there, so this could be pregnancy news. It could be childbirth. This is a card that I regard as beauty. So you could be just taking care of your inner beauty, uh, your outer beauty, modifying your diet, eating right, trying to eat right. Um, this is, you know, spending time outdoors with Mother Nature and God's beauty, right? Um, this card also represents relationships. I'm thinking there's a connection here between the uh, imprints and the devil over top regarding, you know, but anyway, this is a very positive card here. Uh, this is a card that always represents um, peace, love, of course, worth, harmony. Oh, okay. I'll leave that one alone. But anyway, following the Empress card here, um, Capricorn. What I was going to say is, no, I'm not going to leave it alone. This is just how I read. Somebody's very into, you know, into self here. Their own, it's almost like I'm, I'm looking for the proper word. Um, what is that word? One of the words, could, well, it could be narcissistic. Okay, could be narcissistic, but the, something else. Maybe it'll come to me after I finish. But somebody is very into themselves here. That's what I see. Up next is the lovers. Okay, so the major account of the lovers follows that inference card. So any aspect of the lovers being in your spread here, um, Capricorn, there's no indications of having to deal with anybody out of the ordinary. So your relationships for, you know, dealing with romantic partners, friends, business partners, everything should be fine. Okay. Even, you know, even playing field that I said, you know, so you shouldn't have any issues and it could be also the uniting of new partnerships, business, romance, platonic friendships, spending quality time with all of those things. Excuse me. Following the lovers, now we have the major arcana. Oh, no, I'm sorry. This is not a major arcana. This is the nine of wands. All right. So the nine of wands is one of my busy bee cards. So you'll have energy to execute and carry out whatever it is that you need to take care of this week, whether it's scheduled or unscheduled. Simply put. Next up, we have the nine of swords. Nine of swords is the card of conflict, betrayals, um, being deceived or lied to. It's a card that. Um, comes out as um, seeking some sort of relief. So having to deal with some sort of uh, inner or external, you know, unresolved conflict, whether it's from your distant past or your most recent past. And I always say that if it's not the energy that expresses and is, you know, referring to you, then it could be that you're connected to somebody who you may know that's incarcerated, then it's their nine of swords energy. But you still want to bring up to the surface, like you have to bring up to the surface of the energy of your own uh, card representing the devil to try to get rid of this stuff. This is psychological abuse. This could be mental abuse. This could be depression, high anxiety, taking medications for high anxiety, depression, or non-prescription medication when it comes to weed smoking, smoking cigarettes, drinking, doing drugs, alternative drugs. Um, this is a card that represents an extreme amount of fear, worry, concerns, 
overly thinking about a situation, person, or an event. Last card I have for you is the uh, King of Cups, the father of all love, nurturing, caring, supportive. He immediately cross counters over here to the uh, devil where I said that there could be somebody who is obsessing over a relationship. This could represent your father, your um, husband, your boyfriend, your, um, you know, your male lover or whoever. Nurturing, caring, very supportive. Pay attention again to your intuition. The Father helps you to, I'm sorry, the King of Cups comes through to help you with your intuition. You always have to go with those gut feelings and those voices that you hear because those are your own personal energies trying to help guide you to make the right choices and decisions for yourself moving forward. Okay, this card still represents emotional satisfaction, fulfillment, contentment, love, connected to those relationships that you currently have or have the potential of connecting with. All right, so this is what I have for you this week, Capricorn. And to be honest with you, it's not too bad, you know, but you guys do what you want <laughs> when it comes to, you know, liking a video, disliking a video, I give up. Anyway, um, let's throw some cards here from the blank slate. And see what they want to add. Now, both these decks here are very, very positive. So, you should just have positive messages to accommodate what has already um, been displayed for you. So, you have the Emperor's, you have the Lovers, the Three of Cups, the Ace of Swords, Knight of Wands, King of Cups. You have your own energies, the Ace of Cups. Oh, my gosh. Two Aces are very auspicious in a reading. All right, so the first message here for you, Capricorn, is pay attention to signs from the divine. Second message is, yeah, write a closure letter. Keep it, yeah, it says write a closure letter. Keep it, mail it, or burn it. Third message is uh, eat nutritious food. There you go, the imprints. Shadow energy here is consider starting or expanding your own business. Knight of Coins, Knight of Pentacles. All right, so from the um, Fortune Oracle deck here, let's see what they want to add. And these are very positive messages as well. And did I mention that, um, I, you know, my recommendation is to, you know, go back and look at the 2024 uh, forecast that I've done for you. Uh, you know, I throw those energies up here. People never go back to them. Just to see how, you know, the messages are lining up with your energies or not lining up with your energies. We already surpassed January. We're in February, so see how your January turned out and compare that to the messages that I've done for you. I mean, you don't have to, but, you know, I suggest it. <clears throat> anyway, the first uh, message here for you, Capricorn, is, um, I'm not reading reversals. Uh, world, it says, uh, be open to new possibilities in all areas of your life. Second message is angel. Your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. And then the third final message here for you is lovers. Okay, you already got the lovers here. There are two paths ahead. Be true to yourself. All right, this is what I have for you, um, Capricorn, for this week ahead, January 5th, 2024. Uh, like the video, subscribe, join membership if you're interested just be safe remember again it's just me interpreting the cards you guys take what's going to work for you leave the rest alone uh just have a uh very safe and exceptional week ahead keep smiling for me and i'll talk to you soon bye